Okay, Katie, some of the people that are in lab today are the seniors. Okay. Um, but uh, I can show stuff like this is the service chase right here. And um, in here we have things like um, gas cylinders and pressure regulators. And there's an exhaust manifold. And all of the exhaust goes up near the ceiling. There's a big giant duct up there that's the exhaust for the building. We've got pumps and so on here. This is a uh, microwave power supply. We've got um, abatement for treating the uh, chemical uh, byproducts that come out of some of the systems in the clean room. I probably won't show this, but uh, I'm just trying to get a feel for um, how this looks. This is the actual entrance to the uh, clean room here. So we've got some safety, safety stuff here. So you're going in the clean room as safe as anything. And so let's see. There's Nicole saying hi. Hi. Nicole is a Nicole is a um, is a co-op student working for a local company, um, and Jeff is an alum of our program that is the boss. And Casey's a master's student here. It looks like we're doing some metal sputtering. Cool. There we go. Let's go down and see what some of these other people are doing. This is the main hallway here. These are two other microwe alums that are working for a local company, and they rent space there and use the various pieces of equipment in here. They're in here just about every day, aren't you guys? Yep. Keep on going down the hallway here. All right, so, yeah, there's John and <laughs> Zach, two of our technicians, working on our uh, ASML eyeline stepper. And then we got the yellow room here. How's the yellow come across? Good. Yeah, that's yep. really cool. Yep. This has got a lot of our wet chemical school benches and, and so on over here. We can go on down this way now and... This is our Ryan in planner. Looks like Mark is uh, loading some wafers in properly. <laughs> As I see, I've turned the boat around. <laughs> yeah. And Jen is over there at the control panel, setting it all up, getting it ready to push the button and say go, right? Still setting it up. Okay. It's pretty cool. The control panel for this thing looks like. Um, Looks like a spaceship here. Let me see if I can get it in my uh, in my thing there. Ooh, look at all those dials and gauges and flashing lights and so on. And then over here is kind of the rest of it. Your M doesn't look too good right now. Uh, they, get, they got a little bit of work to do. Uh, a little bit of work to do here. Ooh, mine just got tiny. Um, Wonder what happened there? Yeah, I see that. I, let me see. I'm gonna expand it. You froze Did I do for a second. Maybe? Then maybe I touched I the pad sometime. What's that? Oh yeah. There's Dr. Fuller, the founder of the program, teaching nine different um, pieces of equipment at the same time, and me not helping him because wow. I'm doing this. <laughs> um, so this is pretty good. Katie Bezek in graduate admissions is on the other end, Lynn. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> so we got Matt there. He's loading um, a wafer in the rapid thermal processing tool. It's kind of like a uh, million dollar high tech easy bake oven. Oh my God, I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got that. <laughs> so he's got the wafer loaded in there. And then he's going to um, run the recipe on this uh, computer over here. But if you look over on the wall there, see that big electrical shutoff panel? All that electricity is going into uh -huh. that one little box. So when the light turns on, that will heat that wafer up to 1,000 degrees centigrade, blowing orange hot in four seconds. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so that's pretty rapid, and it's pretty hot, so it's rapid thermal processing. Okay. 
Right. Up. There's the uh, super high tech computer recipe. Oh no, it's just loading up. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry. The recipe is not much more impressive than that. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. What does that look like to you? I'm wondering what it looks like to Katie though. A map of the moon? Yeah, it looks like a like a terrain map or something. It's exactly what it is. It's a uh, it's a height profile of the aluminum that we deposited. Oh, okay, cool. So, anyways, I know you got to go. Um, 